Okay guys, so we're gonna do a tutorial on how to do round robins in Pwn Boxer. So to start, I am going to make a new round robin and the round robin is gonna do several different spells, several different things. And we're gonna make the round robin be zero. Let's see. Let's make the round robin be start with a four. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna press one key and that one key is going to do lava bursts, chain lightnings, lightning bolts, and healing surge, something like that, okay? So here's how the round, the round robin works. Inside Pwn Boxer, you go to the configure keys. I have Pwn Boxer 2.6, so you wanna make sure you have the latest uh, Pwn Boxer. You go to configure keys and you don't wanna, this is my little draw pad in case we need to draw something. Um, round robin, and then you have this menu right here. The way uh, Pwn Boxer does round robins is you can define, you define one round robin, and then within that round robin, you define what you want it to do. So imagine you go inside Pwn Boxer. All you really need is the enable, the disable and reset, doesn't really matter that much. You wanna do round robin hotkey, and then the round, and then the game keys. So, so each round robin hotkey is like a instance of round robin. So like, here is one instance of round robin. Like you hit a key, it does a bunch of things and blah, blah, blah. Here is another instance of round robins. It does, you know, you hit a different key, it does a whole bunch of different things, blah, blah, blah. That's what this is, round robin hotkey. We're gonna create a new one and I'm gonna make it be, I'm actually gonna make it be key seven. So we're gonna add a new round robin. We're gonna call it key seven. And the first time, see how it says round robin hotkey? We're gonna put a seven here. The first time we hit seven, just for demonstration purposes, we're gonna make all of our guys just hit seven. Okay? So the first time we do round robin, we're gonna make each of our game windows, three, four, five. Here, let me do a new one. We're gonna hit seven. The first time we're gonna make all of our game windows, let's see, this is game one, two, three, four, five. The first time we do it, all of our game windows are gonna hit seven. So if I hit seven on my game, it's going to send the seven key to all my windows at the same time. That's what round is. We're going to hit a second round. So the second time we hit seven, we are going to make it uh, hit the six key, which is my flame shock macro. Okay. So the second time we're going to make it do the six key. So the second time we hit the seven key, it's going to change and it's going to send the six key over. And the third time we hit the round robin key, we're gonna make it do something different. We're gonna make it, the third time we do round robin, we are gonna make it do lightning bolt on two of my guys, which is my four key. And we are gonna make it do uh, thunder shock, or what, thunderstorm on my other three guys, okay? So the third time we hit the key, if we go to our little thing here, we're gonna make it send the four key to my first two game windows, and we're gonna make it send the eight key. Oh my God, I'm horrible at drawing eight. That's an eight right there. We're gonna make it send the eight key on my other two windows, or the other three windows. And then once you've exhausted the rounds, then it goes right back to round number one, and it cycles through one after another, okay? You can reset the middle of the cycle, or you can enable or disable it, but I don't really find myself ever doing that. And keep in mind that if you button mash, the Pwn Boxer doesn't, to, to keep Pwn Boxer within the rules of the game, it doesn't interface with World of Warcraft. Like, it doesn't know what's going on. So, for example, there's a cast time to cast Healing Surge. So if I hit my button three times while Healing Surge is casting, Pwn Boxer is going to send all three rounds. Because Pwn Boxer doesn't know when you're on a global cooldown, or it doesn't know, you know, if you're in the middle of casting a spell, or if you're jumping or whatever. Because to know that would, would be to interface with World of Warcraft on a level that would make it too deep and would make it more like an automation software. So, um, Pwn Boxer, and this is why Pwn Boxer is really generic to any game, because it doesn't really know what's going on in the game. And because of that, it can stay within the rules of the game. So anyway, that's our uh, round robin. 
and we're just gonna hit okay and we're gonna put this over here. So remember this, seven, six, four. So we're gonna do that. Let's, we're gonna hit seven the first time. All my guys are healing, surging. We're gonna hit seven a second time. All my guys just did my uh, lava burst macro. If I hit seven again, look at that. Two guys chain lightning and you notice the other guys thunderstorm. That makes sense? Let's, and now let's make a modification here. Let's make it a little bit more fun. Let's uh, go back to our round robin here. Let's do this. Let's add another round here. Because my six key is actually a macro that does flame, shock, and then um, unleash elements, is that what it is? And then it does lava burst, okay? So the first time we do it, we're gonna do, let's make some changes. First time it's gonna heal. The second round, it's gonna do the flame shock, blah, blah, blah. The third round, it's gonna do the um, chain lightning and then thunder uh, storm. The fourth round, we're gonna make it do our six key macro again. The fifth round, we're gonna make it do the six key macro again. The sixth round, uh, what do you guys want it to do? How about, actually I don't really have any other things on my spell bar. Um, how about lightning bolt? And then just, oops, <laughs> messed up my key. Um, six round, lightning bolt, okay. Then we're gonna do one last round. We're gonna make it do chain lightning to finish it off, okay? And remember, you can change these around. Like, I, if I don't want my, if I don't want all my guys casting chain lightning, I can say, you know, to hell with it. Let's make this guy, uh, guy number two. Let's make him cast chain heal instead. It's extremely powerful, guys. So let's put this down over here. Now let's do it. We're gonna hit the uh, seven key. Start it out. Seven key healing surge. And it just did the that. It just did the chain lightning and the thunderstorms. It just did the uh, Unleash Elements. Now it's doing the Lava Burst. Now it's doing the Lightning Bolt. Now it's doing the Chain Lightnings. And now it's doing the Healing Surge as it cycles through it. Pretty cool, huh? Let's say I wanna juggle, let's say I just wanna juggle between, let's say I wanna do Lightning Bolt, Chain Lightning, and then my lava burst macro. Let's say I want to go through all three three of those. Chain or lightning bolt, chain lightning. Let's do all four. Let's do lightning bolt, chain lightning, earth shock, which is fulminate, and then my flame shock macro. Let's say I want to press one key. Let's say my whole keyboard's busted, or I otherwise just want to hit one key. Let's um delete all these rounds that we have. Let's say, so we just wanna hit one key. Our first key is going to be lightning bolt, okay? Our second key is gonna be chain lightning. And let, you know what, let's, let's make a change here. Let's say our first key is lightning bolt. Let's say I wanna make my healer heal while my guys are DPSing. My healer is game number five. My healer is um, actually this guy, Tim Boxy. He's a resto druid. I wanna make my healer heal instead. Uh, let's uh, swap on over to my healer because um, I can't remember what his macros are. Uh, what is this here? Let me bar this up. Control seven, control eight, shift equal. Okay, remember that. Control seven, control eight, shift equal. So I want to make one key right now, which is like the ultimate key. For the bulk of everything that I do, I only want to press one key. Okay. Control seven, control E, shift equal. That's what my healer does, so I can remember here. So let's go back here. It's gonna be the, let's make it be the seven key, yep. First round, I wanna make my guys lightning bolt, but I wanna make my healer heal. So my healer's gonna do control seven. The second round, I wanna do chain lightning, but I wanna make my healer heal, control eight. Third round, I want to do uh, my fulminates, so that's the five key. But I wanna make my healer heal um, his other heal, so we're gonna do shift equal. Uh, the fourth round, what do we wanna do? We wanna do our uh, lava burst macro thing. Six, 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 six. 
we want to make our healer uh, do his heal thing again, we'll just put shift equal. And that's it, right? Um, four rounds, so we've got, yeah, there we go. So that's it. So now I'm gonna press, I'm gonna press uh, one key and one key only, and I'm gonna be able to DPS, I'm gonna be able to heal, and we are gonna be rolling it nice. Okay, ready? And that's the seven key. So I'm literally just gonna hit this as fast as I can. We're just gonna roll our face over the seven key. We're dropping totems because we had uh, in one of the other keys is a macro for our capacitor totem. But look at this. Our guys are getting healed. We got swift men on the ground. We got chain lightning bolts, lightning bolts. We've got our flame shocks, lightning bolts again. Chain lightning. Uh, eventually my guys are gonna be able to lava burst again. Looks like a lava burst just went off here. We're basically blowing all our mana up. And uh, look at this. We even got a wild growth up from our healer because our healer has macros that are being hit. And I have no mana right now. And look at my DPS. My DPS is like pretty high. In fact, let's drink real quick. Uh, as soon as we get out of combat here, let's drink and we're gonna press it one more time. And we're gonna, I'm gonna pay attention to how much my raid DPS is. Whew. Okay, so pay attention to how much DPS we have. You know, just for the hell of it guys, we're gonna bloodlust. So I'm gonna hit one key and one key only. I'm gonna hit the seven key. We're gonna be healed galore and we are gonna be doing like tons of deeps. And just for the hell of it, we're gonna hit shift equal. Okay, here we go guys. Watch our raid DPS. What are we up to? Uh, 30K DPS. 39, 47, 48, 48K DPS. 54, 54K DPS, 57. 59 KDPS. Oh, come on, can we hit 60? 60, 70, 70, 80, 80,000 DPS. We hit 81 real quick. 84, 84 KDPS, 86. I think that's about it. Oh, nope, 88. 88 KDPS, guys. Okay, so I literally pressed one button. One button only. I pressed the seven key and nothing else. Well, we, we blew our, uh, our fire elementals, but we hit one key, the seven key, 88,000 DPS, we're level 82, and our gear is laughable. Take a look at my guy's gear. He's missing his shoulders, he's missing his chest, he's missing his wrists. <laughs> Let's look at my other guy's gear. Oh God, this is even worse. Missing his hands, waist, chest, shoulders. Yeah, our gear is pretty laughable, except one of my guys has good gear. 88,000 DP, 88, DPS, and we had some awesome heals going, and all we did is press one key because of how the round robin works in Pwn Boxer. So hopefully that answers everybody's question. Um, I'm gonna put this video on YouTube. If anybody has questions on how round robin works, uh, feel free to ask, but it's extraordinary, extraordinarily powerful. It is, I think if you're multi-boxing and you're using Pwn Boxer and you are running battlegrounds or you're doing instances, you're farming uh, LFD, it's probably one of the most important, like just one of the best features that you can do. And it, it's such a powerful feature that uh, a couple days ago, I figured that there's gonna be some new things that I'm gonna be adding to the uh, round robin uh, menu in Pwn Boxer. So over the next couple weeks, I've actually got some really exciting things that I'm gonna be developing and adding to Pwn Boxer. Really excited about. But uh, yeah, use round robin, you will ridiculously love it, but you might break your seven key on the keyboard. <laughs>